So we perform CT scans to get a be better image of the internal organs of the body. Um, we can do CT scans of pretty much any part of the body. So sometimes if we need to get a better picture of the sinuses, we can look at the sinuses. If we need to get a better picture of the lungs, we can do the lungs or of the abdomen. Um, sometimes we're looking for something within the um, abdomen or the intestines, or sometimes we're looking for masses. So CT scan is um, basically a, a, a large circular instrument. Um, the child is placed on uh, a platform, essentially a bed with a, mat, with a mattress, and the patient will go through the CT scan. It usually takes about roughly um, five to 10 minutes. There's normally a technologist that's present to help your child um, get into the correct position and make sure that they are in the proper position for the exam itself. There might be a nurse as well and also an anesthesiologist who will be monitoring the patient's vital signs and making sure that the sedation is going well and there's no complications with the sedation. So in this particular case, this child was sedated due to her age. Um, sometimes um, when a child is too young, um, they can either be anxious or it might be hard for them to hold still during the exam. So occasionally we need to sedate them, give medications to make them a little bit more sleepy. Sometimes we may need to intubate as well if we, need, if we require deeper sedation, or sometimes some um, studies require a long period of time for sedation. So we put them into the scanner and we do a topogram, which is just a basic almost 2D x-ray. And then um, we plan the scan off of that, collimating down and making the field of view as small of an exposure as possible. And then we inject the contrast. Um, when the contrast is injected, the child might experience some side effects, which are a metallic taste in the throat, a warm, flushed feeling throughout their body, and lastly, because that warmness sometimes settles in the bladder, they feel like they might have urinated. But all those things only last about a minute or two, and we make sure that they know that we're in there with them while that's happening, so they can be a little bit reassured. It's just a, it's a big camera. It's a big donut hole that you're gonna be traveling through. Um, nothing is going to touch you inside of there. We will be there with you if you need anything, and you only have to hold your breath for a couple of seconds at a time, um, and you're just gonna hold really, really still like a statue.